guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it going, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? This is a vlog day video for you guys. Here, we are one week post um, Arnold Classic UK. And you know what? I thought, you know what, man? I'm in the rest period of my whole, of my season. But I'm taking a break. Um, I'm coming back to training today, you know, but everything, we're going back, everything gradually and easily. We're not, we literally felt easing the body back into it. I didn't train in at all last week, you know, completely had last week off. And um, yeah, so last week I literally didn't hit the gym at all. Just picked out, eat whatever I wanted, go out of my system, rested up, spent some time with my family. I had some time, time to recuperate, you know, and that's what we did pretty much all last week. And uh, this week, I'm slowly going back to the gym. I'm taking some time with it. So I just wanted to give you guys to, uh, a recap on how we sort of get back into, you know, just get back into things this week, especially. So first off, I'm literally this morning getting breakfast done. So I got my six eggs going down. And uh, since I'm still on that period of it, got six eggs there, got toast which is something I freaking love having in the off season, man. But I don't eat so much on this period. And I got cereal, granola. Yeah, that is my um, breakfast this week. Well, it's been like that since last week. When the off season kicks off again, then most of that will go away, no more bread. And then we will go into having um, oats. But for now, this is, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is where I'm at, you know? Eating and enjoying food and enjoying things freely. And yeah, I'm kind of going from it. So guys, I'm going to take you to my day today. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give you a brief insight on where we are at at this stage of things. So yeah, let's do it. So, I eating breakfast. No? Guys, so let me use this time to kind of give you guys a big breakdown of where we are at right now and what we're doing going forward. So, last week, like I said, last week we had complete time off. I took time off the gym, I took time off diet, I didn't, I literally had no structure, nothing over, I just literally rested and spent some time with my family and did absolutely nothing last week. This week we're back into the gym, we're back into training, and we're back into sort of like, just getting back into things a little bit slowly at a time. Not full training sessions, not fully pushing, but just literally easing my way back into it. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to have four days on the next three weeks of just, you know, one day doing upper body, next day doing lower body, another day doing upper body, another day doing lower body for four days straight. And then I'm have a rest. We're not pushing it. We're not really trying to break down tissue. We're not really trying to do anything. I'm just trying to ease my body into it while this recovery phase takes effect. We got to give my body some rest and I can't afford to keep breaking it down and sort of going balls to the wall all year round or else something will give. So this is the breaking period and just to sort of maintain that fitness and maintain the muscularity, we're doing just an easy pump up session in the gym as we go. So up, upper body will go up first and then straight up we do lower body which is like quads, hamstrings and calf, upper body is chest, back and shoulders. And then upper body again will be arms and traps and something like that. But it's just kind of like, you know, bring your body to that point where it's just, it, it has enough, you know, resistance there to keep the muscle but not enough to start growing or breaking down tissue anyway. So that's what we're doing for the next, next three or four weeks. Now, in terms of everything else, you know, had the time off it last week. This week, we start running our PCT cycle and then reco recovery, basically. The main thing is recovery, blood work, everything else. We're doing the next three weeks to get myself checked out, just to make sure everything's all right. Kidney function, liver function, heart. We're basically going to go through all that, just making sure that, you know, everything is good. That we have no doubt about, but we're just kind of just checking to make sure everything's okay, especially in this period. One thing for sure is, you know, people always kind of second guess this with me, and I always say this, right? When we finish our last show of the season, which is normally the Arnold, I normally have eight weeks completely off. Eight weeks just relaxing and doing absolutely nothing but giving my body a break from everything. 
people, I've said this in the past before, three years now, and every single time I say it, people don't seem to understand that. We're not running a TRT, we're not running any sort of thing. I'm having time completely off. I'm old school, man. I don't do this, you know, sort of off, but not really off bullshit. I'm off or I'm on. That's it. So this time we're literally just taking a complete time off and give my body a complete moment to recover. Look, we've been going hard at it for the last six months, really pushing training and everything else the last six months. My body's beating up. And even though I feel good, I need to give it time for that to recovery phase to happen, for the body to find some kind of normality and have my hormones go back to normal levels by itself. So run TRT and have that time off to give your body clear out. This is one reason we are able, because we do this, it's one reason why we're able to improve so fast and year after year be able to progress as well as we do. It's because we do understand the value of literally being off and having that break. And this is what this is for me for the next eight weeks. This is the goal. Checked out, make sure everything is well, don't push training too hard and have give yourself a rest. You know, we also got a lot of traveling to do the next few weeks. You know, the next day we do have a lot of traveling. I think the next one we got Germany this weekend, Munich, we guess suppose in there. We got Detroit coming up after that. And then we got Pittsburgh, we got uh, Mexico, we got Toronto. We got a few traveling happening in the next few weeks. I'll keep you guys updated as we go. But yes, doing this is obviously one of the good times as well to be in complete off because then you can do those things. And not stress about you know being being on on freaking pro, on program and everything else. You can just chill out, relax, and enjoy this time that we have for this period. And for me, you know, this is most enjoyable period of my career. This time where there is no plan, there is just trying to recover. I can feel like me again. I don't stress out. There is no there is no you know up and down you know mood swings and nothing. Everything about me is just nice and level. I can relax and just enjoy life as a human being for once. And even though, yes, I will still be having my six meals or five meals a day to a schedule, my training will still be on to a schedule. You know, everything else is just easing it, or easing it out and then easing it back in when we start the off season and then that. But this is the phase we're in right now. Today, I'm going to go to the gym, go upper body training today, first one back, and then next tomorrow, lower body training. But this is the phase that we're at right now. After the eight weeks break period, then we're going to start our off season and then we're going to start putting on and making pro improvements to our physique from that point on and to the Olympia. But for now, we're literally just going to enjoy the downtime, enjoy some break, enjoy some good food and uh, just keep it pushing, man. Keep it easy like that. In terms of diet, you know, my diet is always simple, man. I have three, I have five meals a day, five clean meals a day, full clean meals a day, then you know, anything I want in between that and the snacks I want between that, I can have. So where we always work with my diet is 80% of my diet is clean, full to the schedule, and then 20% of it is whatever I want to eat in between that. Most of the time, the meals are so heavy that I don't want to eat anything any anyway. But keeping that clean calories and keeping that meals clean, it just helps my system work a lot better, a lot more optimally through this whole period. And yeah, we kind of just kind of do things that way and, you know, move on from that way. So... This is the way we've always run it. This is the way we've always kind of managed to make me improve. And this is no different this time around as well. In terms of what we want to see improve this year going forward, one thing I want to do, you know, I've seen how good my back has improved the past two years. And, you know, the shot that we're doing, hitting now, the back double, which was normally always a weaker shot for us. Now I'm standing next to the best in the world and I'm going to to them in that shot. It just shows the level of improvement we've made on that. So we're going to carry on improving on that to try to make it even better. Back lats spread the same way. We want to improve on just not just that, but everything else as well. You know, I want to improve delts, shoulders, arms, legs, calves. I want to improve on everything generally, but we're going to mainly try to really push those the back muscle to be just a little bit more more width than anything else. So we're going to keep pushing on that like we have been doing. In regards of moving forward, that's it. Anything else that I we haven't decided on, we haven't told you, is because we haven't decided on. So. When we do make the decision on what we're going to do going forward, I will be sure to let you guys know. But for now, we're just trying to focus on just making me be as clean and as optimal as possible and just enjoying the process from this point on and get me back to some point where I'm just completely relaxed and enjoying this bodybuilding again. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Just a quick breakdown for you all and quick update on everything from this point. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead from that. I'm about to take Cerberus out for a walk. Have my meal too, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the day going. 
So let's do it. So about to get my meal two going today. So we got rice and beautiful home cooked curry. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. One thing I like about this period is the fact that I can eat real good home cooked meals and enjoy that. When I'm done getting this meal down me, I'm gonna then take service for a walk and then get ready for the gym. But get some home cooked meal going. Nice. Chicken curry. Time to go walkies? You ready? Yeah. Come on then. What's the next step? Uh, right. So we're just getting ready to head off to the gym and I'm just having my pre-gym meal ready. So just gonna get that out of the microwave. What we have here is mint and pasta. Oh, my favorite one. Come put that back here to the off season now. So I'm gonna be getting this in and then we're gonna I go obviously my intro workout for workout and post-workout shake. I saw H1. I was going down all both post workout. But first of all, I'm gonna get this in. We're gonna head to the gym.
They like it, it, loving it, they gotta zoom in. I don't care about the rumors, it's amusing. I don't care about no drama, I get hotter in the summer. I just get to the money, that ain't never been a problem. If you want it, then I got it, I ain't never gonna stop it. Either love it or you hate it, it don't matter cause I'm popping. I'm a hot girl, I'm a hot girl. I get anything I want, this is my world. I make big moves. Let it out, get it done, get it right in the fields, let it out. So we're just back from the gym and uh, yeah, just chilling out. And yes, something special today. Mel is um, Mel is gonna whip up some cornbread. 
Yes. Uh, I had cornbread in Texas last year and I loved it. And uh, yes, Denise gave Mel the recipe to make it here in the UK. And uh, yes. Mel is about to whip some up. She's just uh, getting her bits ready for it. As you can see, this is going to be um, interesting. Interesting. This is definitely a trial. We'll see how this goes, man. They don't really do cornbread in the UK. So this is um it's gonna be interesting. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming together <laughs> nicely. Coming together nicely already. I see Let's it. See. Yes. This is I don't know how to it's coming together nicely. I don't know how it's supposed to look like, so... Should I get your YouTube video? No, this is too late because I'm going to combine some funky ingredients. Oh, dear. Okay. Look at that. Nice. That looks nice. That looks good. Come on, baby. Look at that. Oh, lovely. I'm going to sink my teeth in that. Let's get a taste. Yes. That looks cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely, Cyprus. Look, cornbread. Looks awesome. Can you cook? Yes. Cornbread. Looks good. Looks good. Nice. Sweet. That is awesome. That is the shit. Nice. Look at that. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Mmm. Oh yeah, man. I'm having cornbread in the UK. That is a new one. Mm. Oh, good. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So come to the end of our day here at home, and we're just chilling out for the evening. I'll uh, watch TV and I'll head off to bed. You know, it's been another day here going with me, vlogging through where we're going and where we're at and what the future plan is for us. But yes, uh, for now, guys, man, I want to take, say I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate your support. And uh, we're going to catch you on the next one. So till then, take it easy. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time, man. Thank you very much.